Doug, and I'm bringing you episode 35 of Let's Fail at Half-Life 2. Now, as you'll remember from last episode, we met up with Alex Vance and helped to rescue her father, Eli Vance, before we went off to find Judith Mossman, while Alex escorts her father to safety. Uh, now, just before we get started, I'd like to say, um, now that I'm doing these as commentaries, do you guys want me to um, switch the title to Let's Play Half-Life 2? as opposed to Let's Fail at Half-Life 2. It's it's up to you guys. I'd like to think this is your channel as well as mine. So if you guys could leave comments or private message me with your opinions, um, yeah, that'd be great. Let me know. If I don't receive any comments at all, I'll probably change it as of for next week. Um, so please let me know what you think. It'd be a great help. Now, what's going on here? Physics. Random physics. <laughs> I had a turret. Should be fairly easy. Don't we deal with it? Yes, very easy. More of a surprise than an actual threat. Now, you see those dead turrets up ahead? Uh, I, that, the last episode, I threw a grenade through a broken window took out those turrets, so they would have been a really, really bad hazard if I hadn't taken them out. So it just goes to show, if you have the opportunity to take out an enemy, do Coming it. Up to another control room. Looks like it's still occupied. Uh -oh. Gotta be sneaky. Gotta be stealthy. This, I don't think this grenade does anything. No. It just tells them I'm here. <laughs> Oh joy, it's the turret standoff. One of the turret standoffs. I can reprogram these turrets to attack the enemy. Set them up to defend the control room. Uh, I hope you guys can hear this dialogue. It's too quiet. I had some feedback last episode that commentary was too quiet. Game sounds were that are overriding it. Uh, so I've changed the mixer around in Windows Movie Maker. So um, if this is now, if the commentary is now too loud, just tell me and I can try changing it again, again a bit. I'm picking up a lot of incoming soldiers. Hold the till I get there. Now basically here, you just have to walk back and forth and make sure your turrets are still... Uh, if they get knocked down by a grenade or gone by a soldier, shot it's going to get back up. Not by anybody. Right there. We'll try to blow it up. Knocked it over. So this section's kind of boring, I just I'm running back and forth between the turrets. Um, <laughs> not a whole lot to talk about, but... This is, I think, this is the first of three standoffs you have in the uh, turrets, where, where you get to control the turrets. And this one's the really boring one. It's pretty easy, it's just kind of introducing you the idea that the turrets are now your friends. Um, so it's a pretty... Oh, no one knocked over. It's nice you can hear them if they get knocked over. They make that al alert beeping sound. So if you don't hear anything, you can probably just walk around. But if you do hear something, you can run and get it up quickly. I oh, actually, there, there was a grenade there. So picked it up and took it out of the way. Lost one hold of help. Yeah, got my health back. Normally I just go after you. So it's not, not, not my problem, but you know. Really, really large things. That's nice. Must have been a glitch. Two more health. Yeah. Unless you really need to save power. Um, it takes a 
takes about three pistol shots, I think, to take out a, a, a manhack, um, which is better than getting it close range. Uh, if it was just one crowbar swing, it wouldn't be so bad, but the fact that it's two means that the thing has time to buzzsaw you. And I'm just waiting for more combine to show up. Oh, right, I remember what happens here. There's some combine stuck up, stuck up on the balcony up there. Uh, there. Yeah, there. And he can't get down for some reason, so I just... You can't do anything until all the combines are dead. Luckily, he didn't get stuck in a wall somewhere. Was, that would be terrible. I, there wouldn't be anything I could do about it. Be there in a second. And it's Alex Vance. Sorry it took me so long. Glad to see you're okay. Let's see if we can find Mossman. It looks like this station might give me better access. There she is. Wait a minute. How'd she... To your area. I I'm not calling about that. What's she up to? You promised you weren't going to touch your life. Oh my the God. soldiers were a bit overzealous, I admit, but he was too tempting a prize to simply turn loose, especially in the absence of Gordon Freeman. You would have had Freeman if you'd been patient and just waited for my signal. We weren't entirely That's sure true. you were ever going to get around to that. Human loyalties being what they are. Dr. Burton, as I have stated before, you have to let Eli come around on his own. I you have known Dr. Vance far longer than you, my dear. I'm afraid your feelings for him may have blinded you. Feelings? This has nothing to do with feelings. Yeah, I don't. It's a simple truth that when Eli believes this in This is our not open to debate, Dr. Mossman. Doctor, please. So sorry, Judith. I'm all out of time. Damn her! I don't believe this! A traitor. Come on, Gordon. Now we've really got to hurry. Go on ahead. I'll I don't see why we have to hurry, but okay. Up with you when I can. <laughs> I just decided to take a turret with me, because you never know. I don't think I get any use out of it, and I have to go through a door or something. And unfortunately, when you're holding an object, either holding it in your hands, or you've picked it up with a gravity gun, you can't sprint. So you can kind of bunny hop, but it doesn't work very well. Now this is the way out, and I think I go back the other way to check and see if there's any ammo or anything, or soldiers to kill, alternatively. And I don't think there is. Nope. Nothing.
case you didn't, you know, in case you don't realize it, the water down there is electrified and it'll kill you. I don't think it kills you instantly, but it's pretty quick. You take a lot of damage. I think it'll take out your entire suit battery in one hit. The crab falls into water, dies immediately. damage from a milk crate, because milk crates are very heavy and deadly. Lethal, lethal, lethal weapons. Everyone knows that. 